It's my red hive. I'm going to go into it here in a minute, do an inspection. Maybe we'll see the queen. There's my smoker. It's doing its thing. So I'm going to get into it. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, there's the sugar water. Bees come up through this screen here from the inside. There's a slot running. Slot running right along in here. And it's a gallon, you put a gallon of, of sugar water on each side. And then the bees come up through the center here. And they climb up and they come down in here and they go down and drink the water and hold on to the screen while they're drinking the water and then they take it back down into the hive. Anyways, that's a top feeder and it holds two gallons of sugar water. I'm gonna give them a little smoke, calms them down some. Disrupts their pheromones so they can't talk to each other basically. And I'm gonna open it up and get down inside the, the honey box. Okay, I've got the honey super or the honey box opened up and give them a little smoke calm them down these are the hive beetle traps called beetle blasters it's got uh, a little bit of vinegar apple cider vinegar and cooking oil vegetable oil in it and I don't have a hive beetle to show you, but the hive beetles, when they get into the hive, the bees will corral them up to the top. And the beetles are looking for somewhere to hide from the bees, so they'll go down inside these slots right there. If you can see those. And they get down in that, sh in that uh, oil and vinegar, and they drown. So that's one way to keep tabs on the hive beetles. I don't know if you can see that, but inside there, there is a hive beetle in there. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Where is he? He's hiding. There we go. Let's see if I can get him in there. Anyway, there's a hive beetle got caught in there, just one, which is good. Means I don't have too much of a problem. Okay, again, this is the honey super, and I've opened it up, smoked it, removed the beetle traps, and I'm going to pull a frame out and show you how the bees draw out the frames to prepare them to receive honey. If you look into this corner right here, you can see how shallow those cells are, and then come up here, and you can see, hopefully you can see how the bees have drawn out the cells to prepare them to receive nectar which will eventually turn into honey. All right, the next frame over is pretty full of nectar even though they haven't capped it yet and they're still working on it. Again you can see in the corner where they're starting to draw this whole frame out and they're actually filling it up with nectar. I don't know if you can see the shiny inside the cells that's all nectar that's uh once it dries out will turn into honey flip it around pretty much see the same thing on the other side that's just a, a honey uh gonna be a honey frame so goldenrod is in bloom right now and i'll suspect by the end of the summer or the end of september early october that these frames will be full of honey once again here's another frame that they're drawing out the cells with wax and you can see the shiny and it's full of nectar that will eventually dry out and turn to honey this side of the frame they're just now starting to draw out and start to put some nectar in there okay the bees work from the middle they go up and then out from the middle out and this is one of the middle frames and as you can see it is full of nectar these girls have been working like crazy and they're starting to cap it up. See a little capped uh, honey right there. Uh, once they get this frame full and it dries out, they will cap it up. They'll actually fan these frames to help dry out or fan the, the hive to help dry out that honey. Once it reaches a certain uh, moisture content, they'll cap it up and then it's, at that point it's honey. 
Okay, I've seen enough on the honey super or the honey box. Looks like they're doing a pretty good job preparing to receive the nectar flow from the goldenrod that's in bloom right now. So I'm going to move on now down into the brood box where the queen is and where she's laying eggs and raising babies. As you can see, the bees are starting to get a little bit agitated. Just got stung on my on my arm right there, but wasn't too bad. I'm kind of used to it now. But anyways, I'm going to go in here and uh, just take a look, make sure the queen's okay, that she's laying eggs, and she's not having any problems. This is the brood box. Okay, what we have in this frame, you'll see all those cells with dark colors in them. There's orange and dark brown, a little bit of yellow. That's all pollen that they store to feed the baby bees when they hatch. Anyways, uh, going to proceed on here. Here's a frame that has brood. See all those capped little bumpy like cells there? That's all capped brood where the queen has laid eggs there and the eggs have hatched and the larvae have progressed to a point where they're capped up. The, bee, the worker bees or the nurse bees feed them royal jelly and then cap them up and after several days they'll hatch out as a full grown, well actually a baby bee. Um, and then the nurse bees that you see on this frame here, they'll take care of those baby bees. They'll feed them that pollen from the other frame I showed you a little while ago. All right, we'll pull this next frame and let's see what we got here. Again, we've got, this is cap brood. See how brown that cap brood is? These bees are getting ready to hatch. These have been uh, in there for several days, probably, I don't know, 15 to 20 days, something like that. And they are uh, about ready to hatch. Same on this side here. It's kind of hard doing this one-handed. Doing the best I can with it, but there it is. That queen is laying and uh, they're making lots of bees, which means lots of honey. I don't know if you can see her, but right in the middle of the screen there is the queen. She's the elongated bee. She's running right down at the bottom of the frame there. There she is. She's trying to go down to the other side there. She just went over. That's the girl. That's the queen bee. She's the ruler of the entire hive. She lay, she'll lay anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500 eggs a day. And this is one busy little bee. Anyways, I'm glad we got to see her. If you look on this frame up here, these are newly capped brood cells. So she's been a pretty busy girl. I'm real happy with this hive. So since I found the queen and seen a couple of eggs in there, I know that she's laying and everything's well. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this hive back up. Okay, I've got the hive put back mostly back together. Got all the frames back in place. The beetle traps are there. The bees are starting to get restless. As you can see, they're flying around pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this thing up and call it a day here. All the hives look great. Didn't have to see any problems. Saw eggs and brood. And saw two, three of the queens, two of the queens in the hives. And the other two, I know they're there because I saw eggs in the hives. So anyways, uh, again, this is Dale from Backyard Bees. 